Will we stop global warming? Well, this is certainly one of the biggest questions right now and one that ranks right up there with, say, <laughs> is there a God? Uh, for which see my video on that subject. Anyway, on this one, there are three important questions. Uh, they are, should we, can we, will we? Uh, should we make the effort to stop global warming? warming? Well, nearly everyone now says yes to that one. They all know it's real. Maybe even Trump does. Second, uh, can we stop uh, global warming? Well, there are many prescriptions from climate experts. Uh, they come up at conferences from politicians. There's a long list of them. Uh, and they seem plausible. They'll probably be able to address the problem. But the most important question is this, will we stop it? And that's a question of the overarching will of humankind to confront the problem and take the necessary remedial steps. That's the one we're addressing here. Uh, pessimists believe that we won't, optimists believe that we will. Okay, let's look at both sides. First, those who believe that we will well, the principal argument here is that we simply have no choice. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll all increasingly realize that otherwise a habitable Earth is done for. At least, perhaps not for us, but so far as our successors are concerned. Children, grandchildren, and so forth. And also that however painful the remedial steps are, we must and will take them. That's the optimist's view, I think. Next, there are available technologies and steps that we can take, the world of science and technology. We all have seen uh, how it has increased at such a dizzying rate in the last few years that there is little doubt that technology will have the answer. And finally, never estimate the power of optimism and positive energy. Uh, it really makes a huge difference to everything that we do. We can and will harness the means to cope with this awful scourge of humanity. That's the, uh, that's the positive view of things. Okay, what about those who say, no, we won't? So, what about those, really, who say that however well-intentioned and technically armed and environmentally aware we are, we simply won't do it? Uh, the simple fact is, and this is really what we're up against, as individual wealth increases and expectations arise uh, everywhere, around the world, everybody wants more, not less. Uh, people who don't have enough to eat are demanding what others eat. People who don't have a car, they'll want a car. People who live in cold houses will want to live in warmer houses. These are unstoppable aspirations and they're understandable. All of these desires are the main cause of the problem. Uh, at the same time, the world population continues to increase, and that'll do so for at least, say, 50 years, maybe another 100 years, until the falling birth rates catch up and the math <laughs> takes over and levels the total. And with that, the desires and aspirations referred to above will, will continue to increase in the aggregate and make the solution, I'm afraid, just ever more impossible to achieve. We all know, alas, that the promise and commitment of politicians at conferences such as the one which has just ended in Scotland are empty. All of our recent experience shows that, that promises of this sort are made for political effect, but when it comes to implementing the needed costly and unpopular changes, they back off and the problem persists and at a continually higher level. It always happens. The realities of world politics and, I'm afraid, the kinds of people involved in world politics, well, that just guarantees that uh, that awful foot dragging will never change. Well, what's my take on it? Well, I must say I'm impressed by the negative arguments above, but I'm personally an optimist. Uh, all of the commentators on this subject uh, sort out into these two groups, optimists and pessimists. It's basic in our DNA. Thus, I believe there's the situation gets worse, and it certainly will, 
the hands of even the most venal of politicians will be forced and statesmanlike decisions will eventuate. And uh, nations unwilling to do so will be forced to comply with the needed disciplines, either through trade boycotts or force of arms. They'll be forced to toe the line. And at the same time, the wizardry of technology will lead us to a global CO2 scrubbing solution. We'll figure out how to get rid of the CO2. And even the Vatican will eventually concede that contraception is essential. It's the sheer number of people and their consumption desires and the way they're increasing that's at the base of all of this. So at the end of the day, I think we'll make it. I hope you liked my thoughts. Uh, if you did, please subscribe, notify, uh, like, uh, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.